Hi everyone! Today I will be painting an autumn themed mug. I took inspiration from the lovely warm colors, browns, reds, oranges and yellows, and also hints of green, the remnant of the previous seasons. This stunning bouquet I've just shown you really made me want to include these vibrant, uh, colorful leaves as well as some chrysanthemum flowers. I also went for a walk to collect ideas and I thought about what other things I enjoyed the most about autumn. And it's certainly mushrooms, chestnuts and the general cozy feel on a sunny, warm autumn day. Mushrooms smell divine and looking at them just brings me a special type of joy and satisfaction. So that's what I'm going to try to convey in my mug composition. I can certainly identify a toadstool, but that's about all. But I do love looking for mushrooms. They are like the chameleons of an autumn forest. And it brings me a childlike happiness when I spot them. It's like finding gold nuggets. In my area, I know there are edible mushrooms such as slippery jacks, porcini mushrooms or chanterelles, but I leave it to my family members who are more knowledgeable in the topic to pick them. Uh, I wouldn't uh, risk it myself. But let's move on and talk a little bit about the designing and the painting process. So first off, I sketched out um, a very rough idea that I had of what I wanted to include and as you can see I'm starting with different types of mushrooms uh, adding some leaves and some general colorful accents. Later on I tried different ideas as well in different compositions but ultimately um, the first one was the best one for me and I just decided to refine it a little bit. Apart from mushrooms and leaves I really wanted to put some type of creature into this composition. I had many different ideas, from trolls to Fumbelina to magical cats, but in the end I couldn't shake off this dragonfly. And it, perhaps it doesn't make much sense why would I include a dragonfly here. So it shouldn't work, but it does, it really does work for me. Uh, it's like a cherry on top. And I wanted it to stick out even more than it already does, so I used some metallic paints. Uh, to make it more shiny and even more detached from the surroundings. I am using a stencil technique here as well as blending. I want to get the effect of different colors mingling together, mostly blue and green, with hints of gold for the cozy autumn feel as well as hints of white at the top to symbolize the cold weather, the colder days creeping in and replacing the last warm memories of summer. This circle stencil with blended background and a golden frame creates a magical feeling like it's some window into another dimension and you can glimpse into it while sipping your warm tea and I love that. It's a, a bit like telling a story with a picture. To add to this immersion, I've also decided to break the border a little bit as if the world is coming out from the mug. So I added some leaves around it and behind it to make it a little bit more interesting. I think that's all the comments I wanted to share for now. Let me know if you have any other additional questions about this mug or mug painting in general. I will leave you to it, enjoy the painting process and I will be back at the reveal. Have fun!
If you enjoyed this video and want to see more nature themed mugs, head over to my other video where I paint simple leaf patterns. It's a good pattern for beginners if you want to uh, try painting mugs yourself. I also plan to do tutorials on how to start your mug painting adventure, so if you are interested in that, stick around and subscribe so you don't miss my next video. These are the final shots and it turned out great and perhaps it's my new favorite mug for cozy autumn moments with a good book and a warm blanket and this mug in my hand. Thanks for joining me today, take care, bye!